Hello. Buddy here from the Denman Homestead. And I got Steph something pretty cool. Well, I think it came when she was telling me about it. She said it was a recommendation from one of our subscribers and it sounded really cool when she was telling me about it and uh, so secretly I bought one and I'm going to put it together. So what it is, is it is a garden cart and it has kind of a narrow uh, build, like t uh, body, and it has a seat, a swivel seat. And you can basically just kind of go right down your rows and uh, pick vegetables, work in the garden, prune, whatever you're doing. With this seat, and it swivels around lets you get uh, you know, all the different sides. And she was showing it to me and she was like, man, this would be awesome. Like not only for her back, but just being able to, you know, speed, you know, speed things up a little bit. She can just roll down the, the walkways. And uh, I thought, yeah, that's, that's gonna be really good for her. So I went ahead and got it. She doesn't know that I got it, but she had to go to she had to go to uh, Goodwill to go find a bunch of sheets because we're having a little bit of a late freeze. Now, as of now, it's not freezing, but it's getting close, and it's too close to comfort for us. So typically, we're you know for the last 10 years we've been pretty good with planting in march um, but you know it's just getting a little close to the that freezing temperature that you know we don't want to risk it with all the stuff that we put in the ground so she's going to go get sheets as many as she can find so i figured now would be a good time because i saw that the cart had come in today and I just kind of moved it off to the side of the garage so she wasn't asking what it was. And I'm going to build it. The plan is I'm going to build it while she is gone and surprise her when she gets back. I don't have a microphone. And one of the pieces to the microphone, actually, I, I can't find it. And... I don't want to call Steph and say, I'm trying to find the microphone because then she's going to be like, well, what are you recording? And I don't, I don't want to get busted. So I hope you can hear this. We are in the garage. I thought maybe acoustically that would be a little bit better. So instructions, I'm going to just glance at them. Okay, well, it's not really instructions. It's just a picture. <laughs> a step one. Wow, I gotta show this to you. This is actually my kind of instructions. And I'm not lying, this is not a book. It's just a front and back, right? There's no steps on the back. So, you got a list of parts, but here it is. Step one, just build the whole thing. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it's saying. Step one, you just build it. I like that. I like that. That's my kind of, that's, if I created products, I would do instructions just like this. Here's a picture, build it. Step one, you're done. Okay, so, we do have the nuts and bolts. It looks like I got some little sockets or something in there. Four tires, a seat, a frame, a basket, a handle, and whatever these are. I need my knife. I sat it down somewhere. I gotta remember to speak. I gotta use my theater voice. 
When I was in junior high, I was in theater. I always tell you, use your stage voice. Say it with your chest. That's what I'm going to do since I don't have a microphone. I'm going to try and remember. I'll say it with my chest. All right. Right now, I'm just getting the parts separated and the plastic off. Let me just get my knife. Much better. Okay, now we have everything separated. So let's follow step one and just build the thing. I guess we're gonna put wheels on it. Yes. This is the bar for the back wheels. Man, they really, okay. I was saying earlier that that was my kind of instructions, but I thought when I first looked at it, the picture, that the picture was labeled, like where it, it had, because all of the parts on the parts list have a letter assigned to them, but the picture has no letters, so that makes it a little difficult. I, I'm not sure which size bolts go to what. It's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna guess. I'm assuming these little plastic caps, which are called axle brackets, there we go, that's what I was thinking, I'm assuming they go on this bar. Yeah, like that. It would make sense that they would go on this bar to keep the tire from rubbing. Seem right. This side looks right. Okay. All right. Washer and nut. Washer and nut. Fairly certain that this is correct. This side already has little stoppers built into it, so it seems like this is just to slide the tire on and go from there type setup. So that's what I'm going to do. Making sure that the valve stems and you know where you air up the tires are sticking out. We want to be able to air these up. And 
I seem to be short one washer. I am one washer short, it looks like. Oops, I dropped it. Oh, underneath the seat. Crisis averted. some of these parts and set them off to the side. Back tires are on, which is where the basket goes. But there's like a plate. It looks like one of these. goes somewhere. I lied, okay? I lied. These are not my kind of instructions. It could have been better. It could have been great. Could have been better. If it would have just given me the letters of what everything was, it would be so much better. Okay, there's the basket. Two connections for the under under basket, I guess is what I'm calling it. The under basket. There are two, there's a wide wide piece that goes towards the basket. Like this. Seems right. Okay, yes, this looks correct. Now I just have to get more things. At this point, because nothing, whoa, because nothing is labeled, but there are different size bolts, I'm just guessing what bolt goes where. I think I figured out how this thing goes on. I can already see it now though. Steph's gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then she's gonna go sit on it and roll around in the garden. The thing's just gonna collapse into a thousand pieces because I'm just guessing. Or probably more likelihood that the way I build it will be more stable than the intended concept of the manufacturer. I'm going for. Basket tray. Seat. Now how does the seat work? This goes, this unscrews to go up. There are bolt holes in it, but not in the middle. Interesting. There are 
exactly four holes in the seat in four of these different types of bolts. So I'm going to assume that these four different types of bolts are for the seat. And I'm following specific instructions of just, of just figure it out. That's what they say in the book. You just figure it out. Okay. This does swivel. This needs to be tightened up. Now. Okay, this long bolt has to go through the handle. Right? Everything is still super loose on this because I still have to tighten it up. I'm just kind of getting everything in place. And again, this is all guesswork. But so far, I think I'm actually doing pretty well because I'm... I only have two things left over that I don't know where they go, which is not bad. I feel like normally it's more. These two like brackets. I have no idea where these brackets go. These things. So I am unsure, but the handle I know goes with this long bolt. Perhaps the hammer will adjust its attitude. Yes. Now it wants to cooperate. Okay. Handle. Still got these two brackets. What are they even called? Reinforcing plates. Hmm. Doesn't oh, is it it's supposed to go on each side of oh, well you don't even need that unless it just like makes it stronger or something. So these reinforcing plates they go on each the underside of each uh, back and front section of this black under thing. So I will do that now just in case it will, it does fall apart or something under heavy use without those brackets in place. But that's not bad. I mean, for zero instructions, getting it 98% complete on a wing and a prayer as they say 
Okay, security black bracket number one finished. Now we move on to numero dos. Still wondering how I should surprise her with it. Should I just be in the garden, like rolling around with it when she gets home? Or just have it kind of set up in front of the garage so when she opens the garage door, she sees it. Maybe I could have the camera, leave the camera rolling in the garage to capture it. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Here in a little bit and see how much further or how much longer she's gonna be. Okay, that's it. Everything is built, but it needs to be tightened. All the bolts need to be tightened. So I'm not gonna make you watch me tighten all these bolts, but when I come back, we'll do a little test. So it ended up being much easier as I got to the end where these wheel brackets connect. To turn it upside down because it's kind of a pain you got I gotta grab some vice grips and get it from one side and then take the socket from the other side to tighten it up and I was able to do pretty much all of the tightening on this thing relatively easy until I got to these wheel brackets down here but upside down Upside down, it's not bad at all. You can reach them fairly easy. And this is the last bolt. Okay. There we go. Side. And we have a garden cart. That's cool. Actually, rate the seat raises and lowers. Very nice. Okay, let's take it for a spin in the driveway. I guess it would help if I inflated the tires. Tires have been aired up. Let's go to work. It works. garden cart complete now we just gotta have it set up and ready to surprise Steph when she gets home okay what I decided to do man that light is crazy what I decided to do was just to uh, shut this garage door so it's right there going to be right inside the garage door when she walks in and I'm going to set the camera up right there so we can get a reaction Not there earlier. 
<laughs> what do you think? I think this is awesome. And it swivels. Look. Wait. How do I? <laughs> I can do so many things. So much room for activities. So much room for activities in such a tiny spot. Hey. Oh my gosh, it turns. It does. This is a turning thing. Man. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's four wheel drive. Okay, bye. See you later. This was not on my truck earlier. Huh. Someone left that there. See you later. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? No. Like, I love that it has the, uh, the little basket. Yeah, it's got a little basket. A little basket, and you can put your stuff in, in this too, like underneath. Mm -hmm. And a little basket. Like a bicycle basket, but yeah. better. Yeah. Just wait till you see the instructions I had when I built it. <laughs> Why? Was it difficult? <laughs> it wasn't bad. Was it in English? Yeah. It, it was one step. It, the, it, was, it was one step and it said build it. No, <laughs> yeah. no. That's hilarious. <laughs> wow. Well, I think you did a great job following the instructions. Yeah, thanks. It looks, it held me up. Did you try it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah. Well, I got sheets. Nice. Yeah. For the garden? Yes. And I bought more seeds. Okay. I just, I, I just, she said more seeds. I didn't even catch it. He's like, wait. <sighs> okay, so, uh, I'm just gonna this out a little bit. Okay. Garden cart, complete, surprise complete. Look at it. And you got this off of Amazon? Yeah, I got it, I on, Amazon. it on Amazon. I know, you told me all about it. And, uh, I got it as a surprise. I didn't even know. A little extra birthday present for Steph. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching me uh, <laughs> build build the cart, and it was fantastic. So you filmed it? Yeah. Did yeah. you tell stories? Uh, trust me, I I don't know if I got one story out. I think at one point I talked about how I was in theater at junior high. Oh, wow! <laughs> but it, it took all of my concentration to build this cart because I was essentially designing it. From, I, I don't even get any, you know, rights for designing this thing, but I had to build it from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to see how you did it. I'm going to watch it back. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.